Let's say you created an animation and it's just happening a little bit too slowly or too quickly and you want to extend or shorten the animation. Let's take a look at what I have in the Flash Player. So the olive falls down and bounces on the ground. But let's say I wanted to make this animation a little bit faster. I want it to fall more quickly. Motion tweens allow you to do that very easily. All you have to do is go to the end of the motion tween so I have my last frame here, and then hover your mouse over the end of the frame span. Notice your cursor updates to show an arrow on the left and the right. From there, you can simply click and drag to adjust the duration of your animation. Now this is going to expand or contract your animation, including easing effects. So I can set this anywhere I want. Let's say I go to frame 200, and I'll test the movie and see that it's a little bit faster. Now let's say I wanted to extend the timeline past frame 200. Because right now, if you look at the animation, the olive will disappear once the animation's done, and the rest of the artwork will remain on the stage. So let's say we want the olive to stay on. Now the intuitive thing would be maybe to add more frames to the olive layer. But if you do that, then Flash will think you're trying to extend the motion tween, and the easing will get thrown off. So the best thing to do is to select the olive on the stage. So I'll have to unlock the olive layer in my file, copy the olive, create a new layer, create a blank keyframe on the frame after the last frame of your animation, and then paste the artwork in place. So now I have a seamless transition from the animated layer to the static layer. Now if I test the movie, you won't see the olive disappear. So just remember, you can extend and shorten a motion tween by clicking and dragging at the end of the frame span.